you conversation. As I speak, my words stimulate your mind, caressing each curve with nuances, licking your thoughts, your lobes with sweet some things that make your body tingle. As my words mingle with your thoughts to make your heart beat, tremble with desire. As I speak, my tongue glides slowly over mental hills and valleys, marking you sing, making you sing the hallelujah chorus as your emotions crescendo. As my words meet your mind in two becoming one fashion, let my words a passion kiss you gently as my thoughts make love to your mind. I let your body respond in kind, even although what we're saying is nothing overtly sexual, but intellectual. And as I speak, your mind itself gets wet, getting ready for the entry of even more intellectual imagery to make your mind ovulate and germinate as my thoughts copulate with yours. And our conversation, now joined, starts in earnest and explores the inner workings of each other's psyche. As we each get in to understand how the other thinks, neither wanting any interruptions to jinx the connection that we have started to build. And my mind is the one to be more stimulated by your words. As I speak, your mind shivers in anticipation. My thoughts meet yours and circle around in a dance of withheld gratification as my words tease your mind, as each word probes invasively, searching for the center of your mind's ecstasy and reaching the center of my discourse's summary. My words stimulate your mind clitorally. Let my words enter you slowly, each thrust of my voice penetrating you to the innermost core. And what's more, my voice gets hot as I hit your spot just like that. And your mind cavorts in ecstasy, being made love to as I drop in tone to a bear whisper. Especially since you know how to give as well as you can take, and you respond in kind. My mistake was thinking that I had you all in my power. But your words devour me, and your lips close over my mind's shaft quite easily. And it is I who gurgle with delight as your retort brings me to the brink and height of mental orgasm. I totter close to the chasm of overstimulated emotion. The implosion of my cocksure reasoning brings us to both to a blinding climax as our conversation ends and backtracks and we stare into each other's eyes, satisfied. Thank you.